Hey guys, so now you are ready to start doing the second officer's job, but you're still wondering what to do first when you just got on board. Then this video is for you. Let's figure it out. So guys, let's talk about passage planning. Usually, when you just join a ship, the outgoing second officer has already prepared at list next route. If you work on a container ship and have been sailing on the same line, you will have all the routes for each port. So all you have to do is load the desired route into Ectus, then check it, check if a user map with notes is loaded, and print the passage plan from the Passage Manager program. So, you should be very familiar with Ectus in the early days. Nowadays, it allows you to get needed information with pick report function directly from the charts, if for some reason you do not have time to check all necessary publications. More detailed Ectus familiarization video you can find on our channel. I will leave the link in the description. But what to do if you need to make a new passage plan? Usually, in the SMS of your company there should be guidance for passage planning, or you should check a publication called Bridge Procedures Guide, which should be on the ship. Here you will find all the steps you need to take to prepare a passage plan. Sure, that's good, but you're not going to read it all every time before making a passage plan. But to make sure you don't forget all of this important information, you should use the passage plan checklist, which you will also find in the bridge procedures guide. In most cases you will use a similar checklist from your company. So guys, that seems like too much theory. Let's see how it works in practice. Usually the Passage Manager program is installed on the ship's computer, which has a set of charts and publications. You create an approximate route automatically or manually and the program will show you whether you have all the necessary charts and publications for this route. If anything is missing, you have to make order.
Then, you should import the root from the passage manager into Actis, check it and correct it. Be sure that all charts are up to date. Draw no-go areas, parallel indexes, reporting points, etc. When the route is prepared and checked, you need to import it back in the passage manager and prepare a passage plan, and then print it out. More detailed video about passage planning you can find on our channel. The link to it you will find in the description. Let's look at a few more documents that usually need to be done for your convenience. Distance table. Usually, the captain needs it to calculate ETA at the next ports and Chief Engineer needs it for fuel calculations. Block Coefficient Table You need it for the squat calculations. The information about the block coefficient for different drafts you can find in the ship's trim and stability booklet. Squat table. You need it to calculate the underkeel clearance. It is also calculated automatically in the passage manager when you make the passage plan. Time change schedule. It is needed to control ship's time in accordance with the time zone during a long ocean passage. chart sequence. You can do this just for your convenience if you are still using paper charts. Bridge team briefing. This briefing is usually held before sailing and before arrival, where various aspects of the passage are discussed among all the officers. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.